very good morning to you. My name is Julia Wanjiko. It's six minutes after eight. And you know what that means. I sure I have been looking forward to four weeks. I missed it the very day I did it for the last time last year. The big conversation with our regular analyst, Ambrose Wed. And as I noted uh, in the last hour, this has been quite a week of drama in national politics. It's a weeping week for disloyal members, as Irungu Kangata soon realized. Families spent nights in the cold as railways uh, bulldozers rendered people homeless in Kisumu. BBI campaigns are taken across the country and succession politics get even louder. There's so much to discuss on the big conversation with our regular analyst, Ambrose Weda, who wears many hats, advocate, High Court of Kenya, published author and mentor, canon in the Anglican church. Weda is finally back on the show from the lakeside. Welcome back, Weda. Thank you so much <laughs> and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed your leave. I did. And I can't see you enjoyed it. You look um, <laughs> fabulous. Well done. I'm oh, also back. The chai ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Karibu um, sana. What did you bring us from the lake region? I, the lake is uh, quiet, <laughs> demolitions and all these things. Mm -hmm. And I was keeping house. I had uh, undertaken what is called a 40-day water-only fast. Mm-hmm. If you can look at me, you can see that I've gone back to my teenage. Yes, yes. I wanted to <laughs> yes. say the same thing. <laughs> and uh, highly blessed, and I think it's good. But the lake region was good, cool, a lot of work. The mm -hmm. year started very tough. Mm -hmm. And um, with a lot of work to do, I've missed our program, mm -hmm. missed the people around. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we are here. Even the Sunday one where we share the good news, uh -huh. you've missed, but I think it is well. All right. Mm. Now, let's start with the massive changes announced by uh, to the education sector yesterday as the CBC report presented their report to the president. We shall go to the people and ensure that they understand even further. Because up to standard four, the parents are aware, shall go and keep on explaining to them these transformative changes that will affect their children. This is not just my report, it's our report. Report. It is about the future of our children. It is about equipping them and tooling them to face the future. Because as I said earlier, we live today, but we shouldn't be planning about ourselves. So whether, what do you make of those changes announced yesterday? Yeah, I think let's see uh, the, uh, how they work out. We had reached a system, the 844 system, where people is about competition, it's about uh, cramming and pouring and forgetting. <laughs> So we have so many people who are very colorful papers, but illiterate, life illiterate, functionally illiterate. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, therefore, I think let, let, let's let's look at this new system. There's no massive changes. There are policy changes, but it requires investment in terms of resources. Government needs to employ teachers. Mm -hmm. Government needs to retrain them. Then parents also need to build institutions, schools, good classrooms. You saw when schools were reopening after mm -hmm. COVID, mm -hmm. we still are having classrooms that we should not have had <coughs> 50, 60 years after independence. We should not have had when we are, have, we are giving 2 billion, 4 <laughs> billion to MCAs and we don't have classrooms. Sometimes you look back and say, Jehovah, it is better you come back quickly so that you rescue <laughs> us from this. So we, it is uh, good we move forward and see how it works. If it doesn't work very well, we will mm -hmm. improve or we will re-overhaul. We are here as a people, as a country. Uh, a five-judge bench has directed the IEBC to pause on conducting the BBI referendum until seven petitions challenging the constitutional review process are heard. Here is Senator Orengo's response to that. This BBI document, from a legal perspective, and the questions which are being asked are questions who do not have a basis and a foundation. Do you believe, like Orengo says, that questions being asked on BBI do not have a legal basis? No, Orengo is singing the tune of Honorable Raila Moludinga. He wants either to be governor or be re elected senator. You know, without that, he will be in the village uh, running around. <laughs> I know uh, very little. He doesn't have much investments. So they, 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 they ache on a living as uh, MPs or senators. That's why if Baba says left, they say which left. How left? How far left? <laughs> Which right? How far right? How, jab high, how high? Otherwise, Rengo uh, used to be very sharp, brilliant, and a fighter. But now that the people are all in the hands and pockets of Honorable Raya Lodinga, then you must bow to it. So if Baba says BBI is wonderful, Raya Rengo will say, wow, what a BBI wonderful. <laughs> and if um, 
Baba was to say, now I reject BBI in Jesus' name. They say, we knew. We knew there was everything wrong with the BBI. That's where my big brother and uh, one time icon, Honor Borengo, is. I uh, sympathize with him, but surely mm -hmm. uh, he knows which side of his bread is buttered. That is the basis upon which he's making that interpretation. I know if he was to look at it as a constitutional lawyer, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Orengo would tear it to bits. Whether you have been among those who feel we should not just eat the githeri with all the stones in it, if a few can be removed before the meal is cooked, it would be good, right? Co correct, yes. There are certain things which have to be removed. Uh, the areas that uh, will um, undermine the independence of the judiciary, mm -hmm. and uh, that needs to be looked into. Otherwise... Uh, uh, there are also areas expanded executive addings view prime ministers mm -hmm. with, with with the crowns <laughs> and others with uh, whatever all these things are not necessary it's not the failure in leadership mm -hmm. it is the failure in baking our cake growing our economy improving in various sectors so that we move to the first world i do not think that singapore mm -hmm. has all these leaders crammed together. Mm -hmm. I think the countries that have moved, they have moved because leadership has had directions. Now even President Kibaki had issues. He had issues in you know, national question. Mm -hmm. But in terms of economics, in terms of money, in terms of growth, in terms of infra infrastructure, the country moved forward. Mm -hmm. So it was not that we didn't have this or we didn't have that. It is because of direction. For now, we have lost it on education. We have lost it on healthcare. We are losing it. We are now, the only thing we are saying we are going to succeed in is BBI, which is rather unfortunate, especially when we have to load and load and trucks of money to the MCS to just buy them to, 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 to come into the BBI bandwagon. It is strange and sad. Still on the BBI, the question of many ballot papers in the upcoming general election also continues to play in the political gatherings, with the Sangatanga team still maintaining that the referendum be held together with the general elections so that an additional and seventh ballot paper is added, an idea that the ODM party leader takes as a complete joke. It has been our position that citizens should be allowed a free choice to vote in a multi-choice referendum. It is not possible to have a multiple question referendum with an election. Tiari hapa tuko na kura sita. Unasemba ongeza ya saba. Miji ya saba weke maswali ndani yake. Unakubalana hii revenue share? Tick. Unakubalana hii mambo ya kuweka waziri mkuu na kathalika? Tick. Unapatia hii maswali muta mbaya jaenda sule. Mutu moja atajukua sa moja au sa mambili andi apike kura moja. Itajukua mezingapi ndi otimalizi uchaguzi. <laughs> Raila, while speaking in Kisumu, says BBI is the third and final liberation of Kenya as the DP in Kuala says priority and focus should be on the low-income people. Which one um, is the real priority here? Did the railway find the people or did the people find the railway? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me tell you, uh, Julie, uh, if you just look at yourself, uh, look at your household, look at your life, mm -hmm. uh, look at it generally. And you represent quite a number of Wanjikus <laughs> and the <laughs> chains. Is it that uh, there is a comma in the constitution that if it was added, <laughs> these issues you see in your life would change? Is, is that the position? No. Alternatively, <laughs> what if you came here and the opportunities of promotions and, 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 and other radio stations are looking for you, other TV stations, there's demand. You are, you are, you are always updating your CV and uh, salary increments are coming and your small uh, side hustle is growing. Uh, how, how would you love that? Now, if you look at it, then you know exactly where the problem is, mm -hmm. what the Kenyan, what the Wajiko need. That is why even when somebody now comes with a basic thing like wheelbarrow, we see hope on a wheelbarrow. <laughs> not because we, we can't see. Wheelbarrow may not have the hope. But we are saying at least it can push a few things. Now others are talking about positions and power. Giving um, uh, MCAs more money. Mm -hmm. Giving uh, themselves various political positions. So it is um, not, not, not even one of the key pledges in 2017 elections. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, a constitution uh, was a key pledge in 2022. Uh, two, uh, two, two, two or two. Yes. Before that, it was a very major issue. Two, mm -hmm. or two or seven, two or five. But after that, this new constitution came and it had its own small, small issues. But it came in, people are saying, now let's build the cake. Let's grow the economy. Let's improve in security. Mm -hmm. Let's do health care. Let's do housing. But it appears we're going to end with so many people homeless. Uh, mm -hmm. the demolitions done. We are going to get out hungrier. 
there are more people who are jobless. There are more people who are getting desperate. So when Honorable Sir only Amrutu <laughs> comes with Wulubaro, because even graduates now think that uh, pushing those uh, uh, wheelbarrow like Nyanya Makiti, uh, Marikiti, those things, I don't know how they are called. <laughs> the, 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 our graduates from various colleges and institutions are already jealous of those people pulling those things. They are like, I can also do this and earn money. <laughs> we, we have gone that low. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. you hear leaders praising, praising uh, what they are praising, then you know that we are in a voodoo situation. <laughs> we don't know who bewitched us. Sometimes Paul once asked the Corinthians, who has bewitched you? <laughs> well, Corinto. So I, <laughs> I'm asking as canon, who has bewitched our leaders <laughs> in Kenya? That we are in love with Walbaros. We are in love with paying mm -hmm. MCAs uh, two billion. We are in love with constitutional amendment, mm -hmm. but we forget the daily issues of bread and butter. Mm -hmm. I really don't understand. So our priority, Today, economy. Again, economy. Mm -hmm. Not constitutional amendment. Meanwhile, there was a delegation from Central and South Nyanza that converged at the Siala Resort in Kisumu over the weekend to confirm support for the BBI and solidarity with the president. Empty sloganeering which have no meaning for the people of, of Kenya. But what we're having here is something that is serious that will liberate our people. And that is the journey we want to walk together. To renew and strengthen his working relationship with President Uru Migai Kenyatta and give the president the support and backing he needs to deliver to Kenyans. Beyond BBI, then 2022 will come and people will decide. Our people will work together with the rest of the country. Well, uh, first, there was an embarrassing scene at that meeting when Migori Governor Obado and uh, CIA Governor Colonel Rasanga were sent out of the podium by Baba while Awiti and Nyongo remained seated there. What did you think of this picture? Yeah, I think I remember the, uh, I saw the picture. I remember Honor Braila explained that they, were, they expected the president to come in and would sit there. <laughs> but second, this, this Ngurukus came late. <laughs> They came later. Personally, you know we have been here in this program. You know I detest lateness. Yes. They are lucky Raila <laughs> didn't show them out of the house. If it was me, I would have showed them Inje, Inje ya Siala Resort. Huko Inje. We must learn to respect time. And uh, protocol demands that uh, the big leader mm. arrives after everybody else has arrived. Mm -hmm. Now, in that category, that is Hon Braila's bastion. We are all in his pocket. Yes. We are his voters and his supporters and his mats. So he's our <laughs> boss, our one and only. He is Baba. So coming late when he has come in and is already making his speech, <laughs> disrupting prime ministerial <laughs> presidential <laughs> speech by walking. Why didn't the guy just turn away from, uh, just behind the crowd? Then they ushered in. And then they should also read the Bible. Uh, it says when you go to a place, Jolie, please don't go for the high seats. Wait, you will be invited. <laughs> so then they thought we are governors. Uh, I, I, there I, I salute Honorable Raila Molodinga for reducing their ego. <laughs> Ego. But later on, they were given a chance. They spoke well, and uh, I think they have learned. My friend, Governor Obado, may have now learned that one, that uh, uh, it is okay to, mm -hmm. to humble yourself. <laughs> then you will be uplifted. But when you uplift yourself, Bible, the good book says, yo, well, be humble. Why did they have to go to the dice? Even if when I was there, I would have been waiting at the door. Oh. <laughs> Then they say, now, you know, our low people have a tendency. If Baba goes to Uru, now they locate you, Raila, the Ruto. They say, we know where that is with Ruto. Now, if Baba was to go back and have a handshake with Ruto and disagree with Raila, they'll now locate We know you, you are with Uru. You are with those arbitrators. That, that's their tendency. Kisumu County Assembly becomes second after Syria to pass the BBI Constitutional Amendment Bill 2020. What's your observation on the reception of BBI in Nyanza compared to other regions in the country? But, those assemblies are Baba's assemblies. Mm -hmm. If Baba says reject, they reject. If Baba says accept, they accept. It's as simple as that. It's not uh, Kisumu County. Mm -hmm. As we are still waiting, we want to see. Because we thought Baba would have read the, the, the Nini, but he didn't read. The final one that we tinkered with mm -hmm. and took to Boomers, Baba <laughs> didn't read. <laughs> he doesn't know what is in it. But uh, uh, that's the part we are saying. Watch at Soma Kidogo. Ah, mm -hmm. How comes Wanjiku's homeland is getting more MPs? 
that they will be very authoritative in parliament. He says, mm. don't ask questions. So uh, that is basically Baba. And I think even the president is trying to kick people around mm -hmm. so that his own base also, there are no questions. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, speaking of loyalty, where there are many people from Nyanza do whatever Baba proposes, as you've said, but things have been a little different in the Jubilee camp with some people forgetting who's the boss and um, what channels to use in addressing him. Irungo Kangata found himself de-whipped after the controversial letter to the president. Here's the ruling from the party secretary general and reaction from Murkomen and Kangata himself. Mr. Irungo Kangata ceases to be the Jubilee chief whip in the Senate and his replaced by Senator Wamatangi. Speaker Lusaka is going to do his normal fraud to announce figures that do not exist and I am sure he will not even make a ruling. He will do exactly what he did to us. This is the new normal in this country. I will be gracious and therefore I will not insult anyone. The very fact I have been able to reach here to lead the Senate, notwithstanding my age that uh, my parents are just poor mechanics. Hustlers. 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 So I thank God and also the confidence <laughs> my colleagues had in my leadership. I'm now noticing that uh, this problem seems to have started after handshake. Now imagine the guy of handshake becoming the president of this country. Imagine the kind of tribulation we'll be undergoing. Never. <laughs> Whether was this decision inevitable? Uh, I think uh, my brother and younger brother, Honorable Kangata, should have seen this coming. You remember when this thing came up, I said yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, the way the... Um, more comments were shoved out. That was the beginning of the role. Mm -hmm. So that is the new normal. If you don't top the leader at the beginning, then it continues. And I think even Wamatangi and the rest will follow that. And I, I, I think that expression that Honorable um, Kangata said mm -hmm. uh, is chilling. But some of us have experienced that Honorable Raila has, has gone into Jubilee and you can see what is happening. We wonder what it will be when and if he becomes president. That is a question Kenyans should brace themselves for. Mm -hmm. Some of us have faced his wrath. It's only that uh, we are hard, some of us are hard-headed <laughs> to marry <Mary> Bika. <laughs> uh, yes, and say, come and buy and buy. He taught us that spirit. But I'm telling you, the desecration in the Jubilee Party, mm -hmm. the betrayal <laughs> is amazing. I know my president, President Uru Mugai Kenyatta, is a very good man, very kind-hearted. He gets angry and throws tantrums, but then he forgets. He never carries things. He never carries revenge. He's not a man of revenge. He's not a man. He's a prince that has a very good heart. But you know people by their friends. Sometimes uh, God himself says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the godly, nor sees of the paths of sinners, nor whatever, whatever. You know people by the company, the environment. This unusual roughness that my president is adopting, you ask yourself, who are his friends? Mm -hmm. I remember one time I said about Honorable Kalonzo Musioka. Kalonzo Musioka was a born again Christian. And uh, born again, you, you know, you know that the AIC type that that, <laughs> that, 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 that uh, is always in a suit. But he. he he deteriorated until he went to dancing Kanungo, 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 Eteka. And I used to say, no, you know them by their friends. I said, oh, he ended this. So uh, I still pray. I, in my During my first period, I prayed for President Uru. I said, may Jehovah give him his heart, mm -hmm. light that he sees and knows that this is one country. And uh, all of us, everybody, the deputy president, Honorable Raila, those are all under his people. They are like all his children. They are all his brothers. He must and should embrace them in a special manner as our leader. This thing of kicking around this and that. If you look at somebody like Kangata, I, I know Kangata is uh, sincere in his heart. Mm -hmm. If you look at the letter he wrote, he just said, I've talked to these people and there's a problem. So take charge. Mm -hmm. Change gears. He didn't insult the president. He didn't do anything. But the other people say, you must subdue mm -hmm. the Kiku nation the way I've subdued Luland. How do you do it? Mm -hmm. This is how. You kick people around. You take some people to jail. You do that. That is where tragedy is. But I know Jehovah loves Kenya. He loves us so much. And evil machinations will not succeed. Even 207. 
We started cutting each other. Darkness, a cloud of darkness engulfed this country. But you saw the intervention of God. America and everybody came very quickly. And even Honorable Ella himself, it is him that God touched. And he said, I don't want no more blood. When some of us were saying, Why do you want to uh, if the Kikus have stolen this thing, they shall know people. It is him who said, no, 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 no. This is enough. Let us stop here and let us meet. So God loves Kenya. Those who think that they will <coughs> manipulate and run it around, let them always remember God loves Kenya so much. Kenya is special in the divine question in Africa and in the world. If they don't know that, mm -hmm. let them just stand aside. They will see and say, surely, Kenya has a special position in the divine equation within this universe. Let's stay with uh, Kangata's letter. <clears throat> You've always said that in Jubilee decisions are open to criticism. So why has this case been treated different? Or is it a matter of saying a good thing but the wrong way, like an open letter instead of private deliberation? No, no, no. I don't think there was anything wrong with that. If you look at that letter, that letter was, uh, it was like we must win. Therefore, I've seen what is wrong. Therefore, let's deal with it. And I don't, I think people outside here think that Kangata was so, is so powerful and close that if he said, I want to see the president, you see the president. That's wrong. I think the letter may have been guided by the fact that he could not access the president. Mm -hmm. Secondly, Kangata being a lawyer, he also wanted to say, let me go on record. It is only that that letter was misinterpreted. Mm -hmm. People misinterpret. To say, oh, you are also tanga tanga, oh, <laughs> you are also being disloyal, oh, you are also this. I think that is it. And I know the, the friends who have the propensity to misinterpret good intentions. <laughs> they have done so, we know them. <laughs> if you say hallelujah, they say the way you say hallelujah. You only tanga tanga hallelujah. You say hallelujah, yeah, yes. We know them. Propagandists. <laughs> So they must have told the president, you must get rid of this, this uh, element. <laughs> they are uh, Ruto elements. You know, like now, uh, Ruto, is, uh, Ruto is an athema, mm -hmm. anathema. It is the, 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 the snake that you are hooked to in the wilderness. Yes. Then the Israelites uh, rebelled. Mm -hmm. Moses came back and they rebelled and they said, what they meet. Mm. So um, uh, Moses was told by God, Make a sign of a snake, put it on a cross, and hoist it. Mm -hmm. And there were many snakes all over biting people. So mm -hmm. if you are bit, uh, bit, uh, they have a snake bit you. Mm -hmm. You look at the one on the cross, and you recover. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's the snake. Ruto is the snake <laughs> which has now been hoisted. <laughs> if if the, somebody wants to cut your neck, they are located to Ruto. <laughs> Something that we say if a, a hyena wants to eat his children, mm -hmm. he says he accuses them of smelling like uh, goats. Yes. So. If it is that letter only, I do not know other things. But if it is that letter only, that letter was sincere, was honest, and was very loyal letter. Just saying, my president, I have talked to a few people. I think there's a problem. Still on. And that is why I think also the president called the Sagana meeting to say, you people, this thing is for you. It is good. Look at it. That is it. But now coming back to cut Kangata into pieces mm -hmm. and then uh, to put chief to chief whip a uh, very good man, very yes. eloquent, mm. very loyal, but also very vocal. But you can't put the presidency, Ichaweri. You put uh, <laughs> Chief Whip there. You put Majority Leader uh, House of Mumbi. We, we don't do that, surely. It, 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 gives, it gives fodder to now the, the Tanga Tanga people. They say, look, see, we told you. We told you. This. And, and uh, what pains me is that these things make my president look bad. It, it really pains my heart because I want my president to finish strong with a good legacy. Let's stay on Jubilee Matters. Well, and the political party's uh, disputes tribunal has suspended the decision by Jubilee Party to expel six senators. Chairperson Desma Nunko further restrained the registrar political parties from removing the name of the senators from the membership of the Jubilee Party pending hearing and determination of the case. Question is, though, what relationship will they now have with the party from here? Uh... It will be just usual relationships. People have no, uh, they, they, they have no shame. 
those who are expelling them and those who are expelling, they have no shame. <laughs> they will change. Uh, uh, if it was not uh, whatever, I would have used another term. Uh, what is exchange? But uh, so there is nothing much. Uh, it will be normal. When you meet these guys outside as they spell one another, they have a cup of tea and they joke around it. And they, they smile and uh, when the interest comes, uh, let me tell you if it is, let's say like uh, SRC was to say, mm -hmm. this house allowance issue that has been in court, <laughs> we have now decided give it to the MPs, mm -hmm. all of them. There will be no dissenting vote. <laughs> there will be no tanga tanga. There will be no keleweke. There will be nothing. They will be like, yeah, we, we serve, you know we have served this country with diligence mm -hmm. and therefore we deserve. You understand? Is about interests. So uh, I think, but their expulsion, because they were not called, they were not listened to, mm. there were no accusations left against them. I expect any tribunal to stop and nullify that expulsion. And even if the tribunal was to do so, uh, uh, the courts would stop them. Mm -hmm. But I know the lady in charge, the people at the tribunal, they are very fairly independent minded, very brilliant, and very able. So, uh, that kind of uh, action mm -hmm. should not have been taken by the party. You call these people and you tell them, uh, we don't want you to associate with the number two, and uh, the, if they refuse, the other means. But this thing of expulsion, we are mm -hmm. going back to the dark old days of Kano, and it boils the country in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. My worry, they make my president look bad, and I feel pain. If you're just joining us on the big conversation this morning, we are talking about the big national issues politically, socially, and even legal matters with our regular analyst, Ambrose Weda, who wears mini hats. Ambrose Weda is an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, published author and mentor and canon in the Anglican Church. Whether there is also the debate of Ruto's impeachment when the House resumes. The bill has been sponsored by Lugari MP Ayub Savula. Here is the response from Ruto's allies led by Eden Dwale and Mithika Linturi. It's not a birthday party. It's not a walk in the path. And you look at the person who is driving this, Ayub Savula. You understand that the carrier of the matter doesn't deserve a comment. I want to dare them. Let them not discuss the impeachment of the deputy president in bars, in funerals, in the apartments of their girlfriends. Let them bring it to the floor of the house. We are ready for you. When it finds its way on the floor of the house, then the members of parliament will deal with it as at that time. Eden Duale dares the thinkers of such a motion to stop speaking uh, from the periphery and dare them to bring the motion to parliament. What would be the chances of it being passed though? Looking at the membership, I think it would be uh, difficult for it to pass. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, the DP can be very, very consummate when he's fighting for his political life. Uh, so chances are, are, are lower because the threshold is higher. It's not a simple majority. It's not just people are present in parliament. Mm -hmm. And that, that number, if you just remove a few people, you may not reach it. The, the, the thing is, it may end up damaging completely the relationship between the president and the deputy president. Mm -hmm. And that would be very sad. I feel, I still pray that uh, they will repair back. It will damage and it will set this country on a very, very serious rivalry. Mm -hmm rivalry that will be bare knuckle fight between a deputy president who wants to be president and another president and a president who is scheduled to retire unless he metamorphoses <laughs> into something else <laughs> in the next elections. So uh, <coughs> it will be bad for our economy, especially emerging soon after COVID. It will be bad for national cohesion. Mm -hmm. It will be bad for uh, our own growth. And uh, people will then take sides. Mm -hmm. And that will be very unfortunate. So I'll continue urging, urging the president's allies, urging my president, His Excellency Uru Mwigai Kenyatta, that those who think of that machination, mm -hmm. please bring them to order and tell them to stop. But how strong are the DP's foot soldiers in, ad in averting such an occurrence? Uh... <coughs> I have just mentioned about numbers. He has the numbers that are enough to deny the mm -hmm. numbers required. Mm -hmm. You require to reach a given threshold yes. to get that. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, all your, your food soldiers need to do is to deny that. They can just deny by taking tea where they usually take tea outside. <laughs> 
Then when the counting is done, you say you have less. <laughs> you understand? Unless they do it the Songo style. They say they are booted virtually. <laughs> they count. But if that was to happen at parliament level, there will be war. Mm -hmm. There will be war. And that is not what we want. But does Dwale still have the clout to make things happen? It's not Dwale. It is the deputy president fighting for his political life. Mm -hmm. Remember, Honorable Raila was outside parliament. But you have heard the president saying he only he brought the country to a halt. Yes, you understand that. Mm -hmm. So it is not about uh, it's not about uh, people and their MPs. Even a consummate deputy president mm -hmm. outside there running and campaigning will bring the economy to a standstill from growth. The moment you are in campaigns, there are no people doing investments. Mm -hmm. There are no investors. There are no tourists. There are no whatever. And so it's a, a year plus. What happens? It kills the economy. Once it hurts the economy, it hurts the presidential performance. At the end of the day, say, what did he do? Nothing. We didn't create jobs. We didn't do, <coughs> do all this. That, that is why either way it will hurt my president. And that is why I keep on saying, peace, peace, peace be upon each of you. Mm -hmm. May the peace of God touch your hearts so that this fight may not escal escalate to that. But if it was to reach that, it would be sad. I am still praying and appealing to my president. Pray, call these people to order so that we don't reach there. You may have disagreement in opinion, do whatever, but finish together as you had bowed. Well, the road to State House is getting murkier. Raila uh, allies say Raila has been victorious before against Ruto and Uhuru combined. So 2022 isn't any difficult or different. Ruto, on the other hand, thinks the opposition chiefs are opportunistic looking for the president's approval. Wakati Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa na waitaji amuku kueko. Ati munangojea 2022. Yule mulimpinga 202. Yule mulimpinga 2013. Yule mulimpinga 2017. Ati ya waendo sinyinyi muna Paswa kupimu akili, my friends. Hakuna mtu wali endorse Baba 2007. Hakuna mtu wali endorse Baba 2013, 2017. Na Baba wali nyarosha hawa. Yee na uuru wakiwa pamoja. Na sasa uuru wanaenda kuritaya. Sasa uli ya mruto ni meba. Zio ni mboga. Ruto says they were against the president. But isn't that how this political game is played? I mean, stand by someone when it has something for you. No, 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 no. You see, Raila has sold a narrative mm -hmm. that he won in 2013. He won in 2017. Luckily, I was there in the mark of things in 2017 and 2013. And I can swear he was defeated. But you see, outside there, he has to sell, sell to people, mm -hmm. vulnerable people. As I've also played politics. Sometimes you are defeated and you just say, they rigged my tail, they stole here. <laughs> that, that's a common language. So that narrative, Baba, what, 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 mm -hmm. what, what, what. I, the only time I know Honorable I, I had a one with a small margin was in 207. That he didn't ascend to power. Mm -hmm. And uh, whatever violence. So my assessment now, if Honorable Raila today was left with William Ruto and the president stood aside, even if he supported Raila with money, with resources, and even state machinery, without any form of rigging, Honorable Raila will lose. I can tell you that in my assessment. Just the same assessment I told my local community in 2013, who is taking this thing? They are going to win. Hey, they are going. I said, okay, if you want to call it stealing, but I um, can tell you, I, I'm just seeing the presidency of Uru Kenyatta. Sioni ingine mimi. I've tried to add Sioni. The same, 2017. But you go and sell all log logarithms, all these things, and then the people are vulnerable. I saw Trump also. There was Zungus who are banned. They said that America is being run by aliens, <laughs> that uh, people like Obama are uh, whatever. And, and, and these are educated people. So uh, it is universal. But if you hear people like Junet Mohammed, now those are the kingpins that when they talk, the law people cheer and say, Hallelujah, mm -hmm. we have deteriorated that law. As a community, there were days, there were days, Julie, before you were born, mm -hmm. that if you had people from Luland, you had people like Kero, 
We had people like uh, Omamo. <laughs> we had people like Ndoloaya. We had great people. They come to town, the late Dr. Uko, when they reach Nairobi. <laughs> Kenyans know, wajaluo wamefika. <laughs> like in these days, wamenyoroshwa, tumenyoroshwa, tukuchidi ya, ya, ya mwamba ile ndogo. Ile mwamba ndogo kabisa. So, when Junet Mohamed speaks, we say, Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! It is that absurd. So, they can talk at Ibaba, but I'm telling you, uh, I would only urge Honda Braila, support President Uru properly, support him well, and we have done well so far. This talks, mm -hmm. watch, if President Uru was just to step back and say, I've left you, mm -hmm. whoever wins, I'm, I'm game. I'm telling you, those who are with Piogama Pinto mm -hmm. and Matiba and uh, Rubia and those who are uh, the, the majority of voters today, mm -hmm. these people are, if you tell them that uh, uh, you, we used to, to, to uh, uh, call our girlfriends by going to the booth, so you say, <laughs> tomorrow I'll call you at 3.30. So by 3.30 you are guarding a booth. <laughs> They will say, what do you mean? You didn't have mobile phones because they were born the other day. They, 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 were, they were born after Safarico. So they don't, those are the majority. You know, when uh, uh, Honorable Raila talks about second liberation, they, what do you mean? <coughs> Which liberation? What happened? <laughs> they don't understand. I try to tell my children some of these things. Others who are voters. You talk about second, you have Jaramogi. You say, which Jaramogi? You say, Jaramogi is Israel's father. I say, what happened to him? <laughs> and he was detained without trial. You say, Wakina Maraga were not there those days. <laughs> yeah. They don't understand. Moving on, whether the ANC party leader has come out to refute claims that he's the president's preferred successor. He says he's alone doing his own calculations to succeed President Uhuru. Can the password of votes alone work for one to be president in Kenya or must there be some level of knowing people? Uh, uh, yes, I think there are people you have to allay their fears. One of the biggest problems that Honorable William Samuel Ruto will be facing mm -hmm. is that there, there are some right people who fear him. Mm -hmm. That is where the problem is. They fear if this man becomes president. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is the strategy of some other people. Make them and the president become such enemies that you now tell the president, this one, if he becomes president... And they'll sell all your wealth, mm -hmm. and the wealth of your family, and the wealth of all the Kikuyu people, the rich ones, and so on. And then people say, never, we'd rather die. Mm -hmm. That is the same uh, product that was sold about Raila. Many years, he will kill people, he is dangerous, mm -hmm. he is uh, violent, he will revenge, he is bitter. And it sold for a long time now. Uh, uh, that is the benefit where you hear that ah, Mudavadi looks a safe pair of hands. Mm -hmm. He is harmless. He can do whatever, whatever. Yes, Mudavadi would make a very good president, except he is lukewarm. Mm -hmm. He is not uh, resonating well. I think they were baked <laughs> too close by M President Moy. <laughs> they were baked too inside. <laughs> eh? They don't know how to break out there and ruffle feathers. Mm -hmm. Is a gentleman par excellence. Is the kind who would be like a king or a, a prince carrying a. He's done. He's done a, a biography, a very nice, well written book. Mm -hmm. But whoever designed the cover, he <laughs> <laughs> oh just said, surely <laughs> these guys they have put a, a ceremonial seat and and they have given him a ceremonial bakora. You show that to young people and they say. Watch it now, was it? <laughs> you know, then Sauli have now comes young and you know, but otherwise, uh, Honorable Musala Budavad would be a very good pick, uh, very, very good. <laughs> and um, if uh, I was advising him, I would have long advised him and said, You'd not have left Raila's side mm -hmm. by now. People would be saying, If Raila's not there, we have Mudavadi. 
but now he left Raila also made sure that he shed off all the post potential mm -hmm. uh, people. Uh, 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 and then now you see her. I'm told, uh, and I used to see when I was in college, there were girls who are not uh, endowed <laughs> with the beauty of the face or of the legs like Julia. <laughs> yeah. But they were very clever. <laughs> they would walk in company of two or three very beautiful uh, colleagues. But they remained talkative. So anytime you are attracted to these ladies, but they are the ones who will talk. <laughs> so you either deal with them or nothing. <laughs> so I think that's the game Baba is playing. <laughs> so now you either deal with him or you can't deal with Baba. You can't deal with Carlos because Carlos, they are both very beautiful girls. But uh -huh. walking around. <laughs> How about having financial muscle, Weda? Oh, no, 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 no. My manica will be given. Uh -huh. uh, money is collected. When people see you are real presidential material, the money will come. Money will come. It always comes. Okay, you have a uh, seed money, yes. which I know uh, Musalia has. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but then the others, they'll come. If, uh, for instance, uh, President Uru says, Mudavadi uh, Tosa, mm. Tosa Kabesa, money will start flowing like mighty waters of River Chani. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? If he says Baba, you will see radio owners like uh, Royal Media, our Mze and uh, Doctor Machari, a great man indeed. Uh, he will say, "Speak, speak on those radios. Put out <laughs> I have no problem. Those are all money. Mm -hmm. uh, choppers will come. So it is not just people must just count money in passes. Mm -hmm. They give you resources. You want to hold a rally in Uru Park." You see those those those, those uh, public address systems. Mm -hmm. They hired five million shillings, mm -hmm. five or seven million. Somebody will tell you use any time you want. A chopper to to Mount Elgon, mm -hmm. three of them. Hotel accommodation there. So all this will be available once you are a viable presidential candidate. You see now, like Saulia, he mm -hmm. calls MPs. They go running because they think his kingdom will come, and uh, the others like us. Who are also uh, cheering Baba, praying mm -hmm. for Baba in the morning because we think he'll be present. But if it was to tilt, you will see. As always, Weda, every new electioneering year in our country comes with new political outfits with former ones being abandoned. MPs who ditched uh, Jubilee for the new UDA party have vowed to stop their subscriptions to the Jubilee party by a certain percentage and are very positive about the change we will soon witness on the floor of the House. Here is Cecil Mbarire and Moses Kuria speaking. The Arsenal Nation is about empowerment. It is not about power. It is about jobs, not about positions. It is about enterprise, not entitlement. We are going to be seeing a lot of pro-hustler proposals and legislation coming before the House. We'll be looking at how we can create more employment for the people that are at the bottom pyramid. We'll be looking at how we can improve the skills of those people and ensure that they can earn a decent living going forward. What's your take on uh, the remarks made by Cecil Mbarire and Moses Kuria? Uh, Cecil Mbarire, I can say, she, ever since uh, um, uh, Madam Charity Ngilo introduced her into politics, <laughs> she has learned the art and she changes. She transforms herself like the angel of light. I remember in 2013... <laughs> Uh, she was elsewhere, but she quickly joined President Uru, and uh, and uh, she was uh, became very instrumental. And I remember she's also uh, a worker and, and also very beautiful to look at. Mm -hmm. So now I think she's looking at the future, looking at uh, everything, and that is how she's turned to hustler. Uh, my brother and friend Moses Kuria. Mm -hmm. Uh, is also becoming a political animal. Originally, he had just he was just a typical uh, uh, MP who had deep hatred for the Lugos <laughs> and Raila, but he realizes that he's now maturing. So now he's investing in future. Who is the future? William Ruto. Whether he's the president now or later, he can see that he will be in the scene for a long time. That is the basis upon which now they are over talking each other uh -huh. so that uh, you are prominent in the hustler nation such that if for one day president uh, uh, Hon william becomes president then uh, they're angling to be cabinet secretaries to be power barons and mm -hmm. power brokers mm -hmm. that's what they are doing they think that uh, president uru uh, term is over i think that is what cecil marie is looking at
Let's talk about the railway demolitions uh, in Kisumu. The Kenya railway bulldozers flattened certain parts of Kisumu, leaving families stranded as they reclaimed their land. Victims claim a uh, life of a child was lost. Kisumu governor condemns the manner in which the demolitions were carried out, saying police have refuted claims of loss of a life in that operation. I was very surprised when this thing was done without reference to me, without a regional city manager, without a regional enabled in the county government, notwithstanding what His Excellency had said. And we are not going to stand again seeing this shameful act in the history of our people. Was it right for such an exercise to be done without the knowledge of the governor, Weda? Um, when you talk about the governor, mm-hmm. the governor lost moral authority to talk about demolitions mm-hmm. because he himself has demolished people's um, property in a very wanton manner. So him talking, no, 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 no. Somebody else should talk. But the way that the demolitions are being done, railway founders, mm. railway founders, we didn't find railway. You actually yeah. asked that on one of your Facebook posts. Did uh, you, uh, railway did founders! The <laughs> were Indians who came with railways, they found us. They didn't compensate anybody. Mm-hmm. They just measured. And they measured enough portion. Now, these are the parts that railway is increasing. They are increasing, but you know they use a trick. They tell you, we have a map. 1926. <laughs> because they know your grandfather who was <laughs> born then is dead. Otherwise, the, the, the land does not belong to railway. Mm-hmm. The land that belongs to railway is almost just equivalent to the land that belongs to the Kenya Roads Road Network. You, from the railway center, you measure just a few meters <laughs> outside. But now they are claiming chunks and chunks. <laughs> in fact, in Kisumu, Otonglo, it is like even the national road is on railway land, <laughs> if we go by what they are saying. <laughs> So such kind of wanton demolition, they are just done because now we are we are subdued. Mm-hmm. You can't raise your head. As long as Baba supports it, you can't raise your head. Nobody can. If Baba was to, 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 to just say, do what you wish, they will not torment people the way they are doing. I think really now is worse. But why are such demolitions usually done at night when people are vulnerable? Fear of violence. Ah. Huh. If you do that, they're, they're sad. People will fight. People will beat up when you go and bring down a church, bring down a mosque, bring, demolish people's houses. Uh, do that. It, it is very, very, uh, very sad mm-hmm. indeed. But if notice was given, do you think the people would have easily left those spaces on their own accord, as they claim? Now, how do you give notices on land which you yourself, uh, you, you, are, you, are, you have no proper uh, justification? <laughs> You know, land which is grabbed, people know. Mm. You know, you are asked. Even in Kisumu, I know they did some demolitions. But the others, you are told you are demolishing. The visible. And the owners just say, oh, give me time. Or oh, let me move. Demolish. Because they know. But the others, people don't know. Like the one you are talking about, railway line. Now they are claiming hundreds of meters from the railway line. <laughs> you wonder. In, I've told you in Otonglo, even the road, the national road, the Busia road, they say, if, if you go by their calculation, mm. then that's on railway line. Yet railway came when, when, when they, they were not compensating anybody. They were, they were just putting. And they didn't take much. Now, uh, the demolitions are done at night because the sadness. Mm. People will burn those things. Mm. That's why they come quickly and they want to subdue you. And they do it. And then people go crying. And since Baba also is quiet, there's nothing you can do. From the railway demolitions, let's look at the wars uh, bedeviling former Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko. The former governor has been released by a Kiambu court on a cash bond of 300,000 shillings or a surety of the same amount. Here is uh, Chief Magistrate Sela Atambo with the ruling. Mere allegation that the accused person will interfere and intimidate witnesses is not sufficient to warrant such denial of bond bail. The likelihood prosecution must be real and demonstrated as such. As a result Result of all these observations, I am not persuaded that there is sufficient reason to deny the accused person bond or bail as sought by the prosecution.
the, uh, the court said the prosecution failed to convince the court on why Sonko should not be given bail or bond in a case where he has been charged with assault. Earlier, he had been rushed to Nairobi Hospital due to stomach complications. However, the police went for him and took him to court. Is Sonko drama far from over? Uh, no, I think, uh, first of all, let me congratulate that magistrate. Mm -hmm. She just restated the law. <clears throat> That's the law. What, why I congratulate her is the courage. You have heard me here saying you need a courageous judiciary. That one, even my friend, big brother, President Uru needs. You never know. One day, Honorable Island may be president and say, lock him in. We will be in court arguing with authorities why he should be released. Maybe William Ruto may be locked in. Mm -hmm. We will be in court. That's why you need a courageous judiciary that will say, no, we release you. So, Sonko's uh, being given bail, I think is correct. I think is right. I think that should be the way. But we also have some timid magistrates and judges. Cowards. <laughs> they find lame excuses <clears throat> to subvert clear provisions of the law because they think they want to be right mm -hmm. in the eyes of some misguided executives. That is wrong. So I congratulate that magistrate. That is also the only basis upon which I celebrated Maraga because I said his judiciary was a bold judiciary. But Sonko on the other hand must make him his body his skin thick. Mm -hmm. Having insulted the president, <laughs> there are also some people who love the president. They will look for a minute excuse to kick his leg. Mm. And if he's not careful, they'll kick his leg going upwards. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, where are they, they target? I think Songo knows, and you also can guess. Uh, they may be right, they may be wrong in their approaches, but they will want to inflict pain. So I urge my brother Songo, mm. please close your mouth. The, the Bible says it teaches on uh, uh, closing the mouth. Close your mouth, face your troubles, let them be over. I don't think they, are, they, they, they have uh, they are serious uh, legal issues uh -huh. uh, against him. But now, because they want to speak for him, that's why they say, lock him in, lock him there, take him together. Otherwise, one day he will be charged in Kajiad. <laughs> Finally, whether to matters close to yes. your heart, eight LSK council members vote to suspend uh, its president, Nelson Harvey, for mishandling and uh, countermanding the last special general meeting. You wrote on your uh, social media page on Facebook that... Um, my spirit tells me that I need to host a prayer breakfast with the LSK president and the council. Is this acceptable? Uh, so far it is today that I want, uh, I want to set in motion to, to, to meet these people, to talk to them if they can agree. I will host at my expense. We pray together, we talk. I think what is ailing the, the LSK is about dialogue, it's about conciliation. It's not about court matters, fearing, mm -hmm. sucking each other and so on and so forth. What I think they are disagreeing on are very minute things. It's just about ego, but misplaced ego. Otherwise, the council members are very good people. The president is a very good person. Mm -hmm. But you know, this egoistic approach to things engineered more by being young blooded <laughs> even me i was hot blooded like that there years but i've um, calmed down uh, the storms of life have calmed me down so i thought if we could have good meals together then i lay hands on them as a colonel then we uh, use my um, reconciliation approach mm -hmm. uh, we will be able to get over this so that this thing of so and so are sacked so and so so and so are suspended so and so, so, and so is removing so and so that's not what we elected them to go and do that's not what we want to hear we want to hear that if songo is in uh, on fraudulent charges we make noise mm -hmm. if judges have not been sworn in we make noise if uh, uh, mcs are being added money we make noise if uh, president uru uh, launches a new curriculum we congratulate him that is the approach we want we don't want at uh, so and so sack so and so so and so is sleeping with so and so, so and so is doing this so we are going to rebuke that part of them in the name of jesus and reunite lsk thank you very much ambrose weda always nice to have you on the show oh happy new year it's the first time i'm seeing you this Come year, <laughs> happy new year dear too. that's our regular analyst on the show every wednesday morning ambrose weda advocate of the high court of kenya published author and mentor and canon in the anglican church remember a podcast of this conversation will be available on www.kbc.co.ke and you can also listen again on air during the night runner straight after midnight